Hello everyone. Welcome to Triotech Software Trainings YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see how to correct or update the employee email ID in the system. So usually when we hire an employee, we will be capturing the employee email address. And once we hire the employee record in the system, from the UI level, I mean from the employee person information level, where the email address that we are going to see in the system, we will be not able to edit it or we are not able to delete. Um, we can delete it or we can add it, but we cannot update or we cannot correct the existing email address of the employee in the Fusion applications from the UI level directly. So usually we will prefer HDL uh, in order to update the email address of the employee from the back end. But let's see what will be the I mean approach that we have to follow in order to update the email ID from the UI level, from the front end within the application, how we can correct or update the existing email ID of the employee. For that, we have to go to our security console in the system. So as we know that in the Fusion application, the user account details will be maintained in the security console. So at the user account level for an employee, the email ID will be available and we can correct or edit the email ID from the security console area. But in order to get access to security console, as we all know, we should have this role assigned to our user account. That is IT security manager role. If this role assigned to our user, then access to the security console under tools functional area, we will be getting in the system. So let us follow these steps in order to correct or edit or update the existing email ID of the employee. We have to go to tools and then we should go to security console, search the user for whom you want to update the email ID, then edit the user, then you can able to update the email ID in that particular screen. So first let me go to the system and let me search an existing employee record in the system and whether we could able to update the email ID to the employee from the UI or not, let's check it out. So as a HR admin, we can go to my client groups and then we can go to person management in order to search any existing person record. So let me search with an employee with the name called John. So, right. So let me go to this employee record. Let me click on that person. Then I will land up on the employment screen. Even from the actions button, you can directly go to that person screen where the employee ID will be available in the system. But let me go in this way. So I landed up on employment screen. So once I click on the right side taskbar here, under personal and employment section, we have person task available here. Okay. So once I go to person, employee personal details, I can able to see. Once we go to person here, we can see the employee uh, personal details like name details, address details, email ID, NID details, country information, all these details you will be able to see in the system. So once we come to person, in the person information tab, here I can see under the communication methods, the current email address of this employee captured in the system. See the work email for this employee, John Dunbar was this one, is this one, John Dunbar, Dunbar and there is some uh, ID I can see here. This is the work email ID. So do I have an option that I can update the email ID of the employee from this respective screen. See, if I go to edit here, I am getting some options. For adding the new or deleting, I'm getting the option. See, phone, email, communication. So where is the edit option? I'm not getting any uh, option to edit the existing work email. If I go to edit and if I go to email details, I, I'm, I'm on the screen of edit email address, but I'm, I'm having an option to delete or I can add new one. And one more thing, if I try to delete also team, I will get an error. What is that? You can't delete an email of type work email. 
so whatever the primary work email that employee having in the system that which we captured while we hiring the employee i cannot delete that directly from the system here so if i want to add one more email id then i can go to plus icon and then i can add that email id but the existing email id of an employee i couldn't able to perform anything see if i go to view if i go to about this record i can see the details of that email id like when this particular email uh, address updated to the employee the creation date created by last updated information i can check but i am not having any option to delete this or i am not having any option to update while hiring let's suppose i have given wrong email address to the employee now as a hr admin i want to correct this particular record how can i do that i am not having an option to do it from the employee person information tab right then how can i do i will show you the options that in the system to follow in order to update the email id so come back to the main home screen okay come back to the main home screen then go to go to tools okay under tools we will have the sub functional area called security console so as i told you if you want this security console to be available under tools your user account should be assigned with your role called it security manager role this role is very much needed in order to have that access to security console come to tools then go to security console and then come to users and search with that respective user so that employee will be having the user account in the system right so search for that employee so this is the employee for whom we are uh, looking the email id earlier john dunbar so click on this person record click on this person record then we have an option called edit here so click on edit so that all the user information level attributes will become editable as a, a it security manager or a hr admin i could able to do any kind of updations that i want to perform for my employee user account details so here if you can see my email id got editable right so here it's i want something like uh, john dot dunbar at the rate gmail dot com okay or let's say some one two three or something so my employee email address is this one thing see now i'm updating my email id let me click on save and close let me click on save and close so in this way you can able to update the employee email id from the user account level from the security console from the user account level you can update now whatever the email id that i updated at the employee user account level will it be reflecting at the employee level in the system in the front end let's check it out let me go back to the my client group person management and search the employee and let me check it out whether that updated email id reflecting here or not let me go to my client group then person management okay then search the employee my employee is this person then bar john and let me go to this person record of this worker go to the right side taskbar and then click on person now let me scroll down see here my email details got updated work email got updated so if i want to check who updated the details if i go to email details and if i click on about this record i can check here see last updated by this user okay and last updated date today's date and time you can see here so see from the front end from the person level i am not able to update the email of my employee here if any corrections i want to do but from the back end if i go not even at the back end in the security work area you can go to the employee user details update the email over there so that you can have the email correction happen to the employee record here 
So if it is for one employee or five employees or below 10 employees, you can manually do in this way. So this workaround or this approach will be useful whenever the employee records are minimal for whom you want to update the email IDs. But in a bulk, if you want to update the email IDs for 50 people, 100 people, this option might not be a better approach because manually you cannot do 50 times or 100 times for all the employee records. But in that case, you have to rely upon the HDL in order to update the email ID. So in the sessions on HDL, we will be covering how to do via HDL the bulk upload up, updating of email addresses. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and please do like the video and share this video in order to uh, uh, get other people also know about the approach, how we can update our email ID in that system. So please subscribe to our channel in order to find more videos on Oracle Fusion applications. Thank you everyone for watching this video.